Welcome to this tutorial on how to send emails as a channel message on Discord automatically. Guys, if you are using Discord for communicating with your team or community, you may have found yourself wishing that you could integrate Discord with Gmail. Fortunately, with a few simple steps, you can integrate Gmail with Discord and you can automatically send the emails that coming into your gmail inbox as a channel message on discord automatically keeping everyone in the loop without doing any extra effort so in this video i am going to show you the steps of setting up this automation using a no code tool known as pabli connect so without any further ado let's begin so this is the landing page of Pabli Connect and I'm going to paste this same link in the description so that you can sign up for free and get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. After signing up, you can sign in and select Pabli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So this is the dashboard and from here, click on this create workflow button. Here you can give a suitable name to this workflow and after that click on create button. So I have given the name like this. Now let's click on create and you can see the workflow page is loading up here. And on this page, you will find these two modules guys, the trigger and the action. So these are the basic building blocks of our automation. Trigger is going to start our workflow and the action would be an automated consequence or the response of the trigger. So when you click on trigger, it will ask to choose the application so here we are going to use a feature of Pabli Connect which is called email parser. So with the help of email parser, you can fetch out the incoming emails from your Gmail inbox or any other mailbox. Okay. So here you can see email parser select it and it will provide you this email address. So with the help of these instructions, we are going to create a connection with our Gmail inbox using this email address. And then we are going to capture the response of the connection. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to open my Gmail account here, which is this from here. I'm going to click on settings on the top right corner from here. Click on see all settings under all settings. Click on this forwarding and pop slash IMAP option. Here you will find this add a forwarding address button. Click on it. And here you have to paste this, uh, this, uh, forwarding address that we have received here. So just click on copy and paste this address here like this and then click on next button. Okay. And uh, this, uh, this kind of small dialogues dialog box will open up. Okay. And let me show you here as we have copied this webhook. Oh, sorry, this email parser address, it started showing waiting for the parser's response. So here guys, you can see when you add a forwarding address here like this and then click on next, it will send a test email here in this uh, workflow. Okay. And it will be captured here. And in that test email, we are going to receive a verification code by which we are going to verify this email address here uh, in this inbox. Okay. Let me show you click on next. From here, click on proceed. Okay. And you can see a confirmation code has been sent to this address that you have added here. Okay. Click on okay here. And here it is asking for the confirmation code to verify this forwarding address. So let's see if we have received a code. So here you can see we have received the test email data. So whenever you are going to receive a real email here in these labels, it will show you uh, the two display label in which you are going to see to which email uh, the 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 mail is received and from where it is coming from okay and you are going to receive the subject here and then some technical details and when you scroll down here in the body text label you are going to receive the message containing in the email and here you can see in the same body text label we have received a confirmation code as well so you just have to copy this code and you have to enter it here in the verification code box and then click on verify. Okay. So this forwarding address is now verified here. You have to check this radio button. Okay. Forward a copy of incoming email to this address. Then you have to scroll down and click on save changes. And you can see 
your emails are going to forward now to this address, okay? Right? So this is how you can add a forwarder. And now guys, it is time to capture a real email. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to click on this recapture email parser button like this, then click on yes. And it will start showing waiting for the response again. And now I'm going to tell my friend that send me an email or what I'm going to do, I'm going to open my another email inbox from another Gmail account or any other account. And I'm going to send a sample email here to this inbox in which I have added the forwarder, which is connected to email parser. Okay. And as I'm going to receive the email here, it will be captured here in this workflow as well. So that is going to act as a test email by which we are going to set up this automation further. Okay. So guys, I am going to send exactly the same kind of email that I want to forward on Discord. So guys, I do not want to forward every email that I'm getting in my inbox. That will not be practical. I want to filter out some particular kind of emails and notify my team that we have received this email from uh, which is which is uh, relevant to this subject. Okay. Okay. So here guys, let me send an email here from my another Gmail account. So guys, this is an email I have typed to send and this is a kind of email for applying for any position in a company. Okay. So and I have added the subject as resume. Okay. Let me type it as resume for job application. Okay. This is my subject. This is the email. I'm thrilled and excited to join your team. Find my resume attached. And here I have attached a resume as well in PDF format. And here I'm clicking on send. So guys, here you can see in this response section, we have received the data. Here it is showing to which address the email is received from where it is coming. The subject is this and here you can see in the body text label, we have received the uh, email message. Okay. And here in the attachment link label, you can see the attachments link is also here. Now guys, I want to send this uh, information to my discord channel. For that to happen, we are going to connect discord here. And as I have already told you that we do not want to send each and every email to my discord channel. I want to filter out some particular emails. So let's say in this example, I just want to tell my team that we have received a new job application. Okay. So I'm going to filter out such kind of emails for that. I'm going to use filter feature of Fabi connect here. Here you can see filter use this filter in the action step. And here in this filter, it will ask to select a label select a filter type and put a value here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this label that I have received here. The first step, the subject label. Okay. And I'm going to filter out the emails whose subject receive, uh, whose subject contains this word resume. Okay. So if I'm going to receive the emails, which have this word included in the subject, only those emails will be forwarded as a channel message on my discord server for that to happen. Just select this label here. Just click here and the previous step will appear here in the drop down from here. Map the subject label, then select the filter type as contains and put the value here as resume. Okay. Okay. And then you can check this condition by clicking on save and send test request button. And here you can see the condition is true. So whenever this condition is true, that means whenever the subject contains a resume word, then only the messages or the emails will be forwarded to discord. And for that to happen, just click here on this plus icon and another action step will open up from here. Let's connect with discord now. Okay. Select discord, then select the action event as sign channel message in HTML or markdown as you want. I'm going to use HTML format and here click on connect button and then it will ask for the web URL to be pasted here to make a connection with discord. Okay. So guys to make a connection with discord, you can follow these steps by clicking on this link here you on the forum page of Pabli, you can see the screenshots of the steps involved in making the connection. Let me show you directly here. This is my discord server. 
and here you can see this is my spaces name pavli team when you click on this space you will find the server settings option here click on server settings under server settings under the apps section you will find this integrations option click on it under integrations page you will find this webhooks option click on view webhooks and here you can click on new webhook button to add a new webhook connection so when you click on new webhook you can see here let me just click it click on it once more time here you can see a new bot will be created like this here it is showing the name as spidey bot you can change the name of this bot i am going to uh, type here job application okay this is the name of our bot here you can select the channel on which you want to uh, send the emails that you're receiving so this is my channel's name technical updates okay you can select yours and then click on copy webhook url button uh, button okay so the webhook url is copied now click on save changes so this webhook connection is saved and paste the url that you have copied here in this workflow like this okay here it is asking for the message that you want to send to your team or to your community so let me type a standard message here so i have typed a small message like this hello team we have received a new job application the applicant details are as follows this is the name this is the email and this is the resume and here guys i am going to map that uh, or let me just add one more thing along with the resume the message that we have received on the email okay so here in this message we can map all these four things from the previous step so here you can see as i am clicking here in front of this name word the previous step is appearing here so from this first step i am going to map the display name label here like this then i am going to map the email address then i am going to map the resume link i have received here this is the link and here you can map the body text label in which we have received the body of the message okay right so this is how you can map the things and you have to map these things and set up this automation only once after that you do not even have to look this workflow it will work automatically whenever you are going to receive a job application in which the subject contains resume as a keyword okay now guys you can check your connection with your discord channel by clicking on save and send test request button and a new message will be uh, will be captured here will be received here inside this technical updates channel okay so that will be a sample message just for checking uh, checking this automation click on save and send test request guys okay this is the response we have received and let's see and here we have received a new message received via job application bot and you can re read the message hello team we have received a new job application this is the details and this is the same message you can see that we have sent on email and we have received the same thing here according to the mapped data so this is how it is going to work guys so you have to set up this automation only once after that you do not have to do anything manually after that it will work automatically and guys i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description so that you can clone this workflow in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys if you want to connect with our support team you can email us at support at the you can ask and discuss your queries on our forum via this link and you can check the pricing plans of public connect via pabli.com slash connect hashtag pricing and guys if you like our videos do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you so much